See that? She's not too pretty anymore. That is a lot of play. <laughs> Little bit of ice. Pretty impressive. Well, I've got something a little different to work on today. It's a machine I've actually had in here before last year. I posted a picture of it, but I never showed anything because all I did was throw a quick winch on there and a snow plow. But it is a 2015 Polaris Ranger 900. Like I said, I worked on this guy a little bit last year for the owner. It's actually a friend of a co-worker's of mine. But today it's in here for a slightly more serious problem. As you can see, I'm turning the wheel and uh, the uh, wheel really doesn't turn very well. See that? We've got a completely shot steering rack in under there. So this should be just a quick little swap out steering rack for a new one and we should get this Ranger back up and running. Now, the nice thing I've noticed is it looks like there's a lot of room in here. So I think I'm going to be able to get away with just jacking this up and taking both front tires off. And then I should be able to get the tie rod in to get it unbolted and get in here to reach everything without having to tear the whole front end apart. Yeah, we'll find out if it's going to be that easy, but I think it's going to be that easy. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. smooth here I got the tire rods off I took the bolt out for the steering shaft you can see right there now all I gotta try to do is weasel my way in there's four nuts right there you can see the two at the bottom and then the third one on up there a little bit if I can weasel in there without having to tear anything else apart then this uh, steering rack will just drop right down out so pretty easy and I say that not yet trying to get them nuts off so uh Hopefully she's pretty easy. guys here's what we got I don't know if it's actually damaged or not I mean there's damage and wear and tear now but what happens is this upper seal I think actually popped loose and so this was just spinning and grinding in there I don't know if there'd be a way to rebuild that or not there's a ton of mud and gunk in there and the owner did admit that he had been noticing something funny in the steering for a long time he was just ignoring it which it got him by till now but you guys can see in there, she's not too pretty anymore. So we got this all balls replacement. This was about 170 bucks compared to 300 and some, almost $400 for an OEM one. It's got new tie rods that are just as beefy as the stock ones. So it should be a good replacement there. So all I gotta do is put these new tie rods on, take our tie rod ends off the factory arms, put on our new tie rods, and the all balls kit comes with brand new bolts and everything so we don't have to worry about trying to save these guys because they're really seized up in there in fact i broke the one taking it out but i wasn't being overly careful because again i knew there was new hardware for this new guy so let's go ahead and throw her back together all right so i got everything back together i got the alignment all done and dialed in and i happened to notice that these front bearings yeah they're pretty shot look how much play i know it's hard to pick up on the camera that is a lot of play the other side's just as bad so these front bearings wow yeah, i mean that's that's a lot of play so the front bearings are shot i called the owner let him know he said yep go ahead and replace the wheel bearings 
So we're gonna throw some new front wheel bearings in this guy. So she will be all tight and dialed in and ready for a good season of riding come nice weather. Yep, this bearing's completely shot too. Look at the play in that. She toast. and stuff good and everything's good and tight it's the best part of working on other people's vehicles is you got to test drive them to make sure everything's okay so you get to drive different machines reverse this Ranger it is a 2015 or 14 it's 14 or 15 and it's quiet it's nice and quiet and I will give Polaris props for this is most Polaris machines ride nice and smooth it's a stock suspension and it rides so much nicer than, say, a Pioneer 1000 does. Seems to be tracking nice and straight. No play in the steering wheel. It's nice and responsive. Just do a quick trip around the field. The only thing I'm not real crazy about with this Ranger 900 XP is the seating position. I'm 5'9", 5'10", and I feel like my feet are hardly on the floor. You set up that high. The seat bottom is that high off the floor. And I feel like I'm really, like my feet barely touch. Most people probably don't mind it, and it does have this little foot Thing down here for your foot to rest on but I think I like a Pioneer 1000 and like the R-Max seating better it's got good power though and I can't believe how smooth this thing rides Polaris definitely has the suspension dialed in on their machines.
see if I can remember how to clear the service reminder. guys overall not an awful job we replaced the steering rack we replaced the bearings and i did an oil change too he wanted it serviced while i was here i didn't film that because you've seen one oil change you've seen them all and i know most of you guys that subscribe to my channel are polaris owners so i thought there was no need for that but not a bad job and i gotta say i do not hate this ranger 900 xp it kind of surprised me the ride these guys have and like i've had this before i put the plow on it so i rode it a little bit then to test stuff out but Pretty impressive. Something a little different for my channel. Broadening my horizons and getting a different brand in here every once in a while. If you guys are able, I know times are tough, but there's many ways you can support Appalachian Mountain Riders. All those are listed in my description below from buying my merchandise in the Teespring store, such as this sweatshirt here, although your guys' will come much, much cleaner than this one. And I have t-shirts for both adults and kids sizes decals and mugs, some um, phone cases, all with my Appalachian Mountain Riders logo. I have my Amazon Influencers page, where all the stuff I get from Amazon that I approve of is listed there, and I get a little bit of a commission every time you buy something from that website. Also, you may have noticed I have an affiliate link set up for Vic Off-Road, which they have a lot of recovery and off-road lighting. I've installed the winch. I've installed the... Uh, Rock lights, which you guys have seen in videos past. If not, you can click up here and check that out. So I get a small kickback from that. I do have a PayPal link there if you guys just want to support me here and there with no commitment every once in a while. $5 here, $10 there, $100 every once in a while. And of course, I have Patreon link as well. But as always, just simply stopping in, watching my videos, clear through, liking, and subscribing is a tremendous way to support Appalachian Mountain Riders as well. As you can see, the snow is melting. It's getting nice. I've got lots of good videos coming up. This is going to be a good year, I hope, for 2022. Providing World War III doesn't happen and the world ends. But hey, if it does, we'll just keep on riding up until that point. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, God bless. And again, keep on riding.